Romania. And let's go back to 1985 when Daniela won her very first world title at the age of 15. Kathy, she looked markedly different. She sure did. And even at that tender age, you never felt she was intimidated by this apparatus. And since that day in Montreal when she won her first title, Daniela has more than fulfilled her great promise and great potential. And she begins with a beautiful mount, very original. And as I mentioned, she's always been aggressive on this apparatus. When most gymnasts tend to be cautious, she really goes for it. See the great concentration. There are her leap combination requirements. Now she was a little bit low on her back leg on that second leap. You always had this sense of lightness with Danielle on the balance beam. She works on her toes. That was the move that she had trouble on in the all-around. In fact, she fell on it in the all-around, and she performed it so easily here. She's going after her second gold medal here in these individual apparatus finals, having won one in the uneven bars. And so self-assured. See, she's preparing now for her dismount. She lines up with that beam. Double back. Excellent routine. Going back to even 1976 with Nadia Komenich, the Romanians continued to set the pace for the rest of the world on balance beam, not necessarily in terms of high level of difficulty, but in terms of consistency. This is a great angle to see right here how precarious the beam is. And you notice a little bit of a bobble, but no major break. Daniela score 9.95. At a world championship like this one, everybody is talented. So what separates a great performance from